Hello, my name is Max Jenkins, and today is May 9th. Uh, today, I want to go a run-through of kind of how my week looks. Um, it's actually, it's not too busy of a week. Um, and some other stuff that I found interesting today. First of all, yesterday I saw the movie Sucker Punch, uh, directed by Zack Schneider. And I have to say, Zack Schneider is one of my favorite directors. Um, He's directed movies such as uh, Sin City, 300, um, and yeah, stuff like that. And they're always really far out, awesome action movies, and I have to say, I was not disappointed by Sucker Punch. Um, also, I was looking at IMVD, um, at other stuff he does, and it turns out, which I knew he did Watchmen, um, which also I thought was an awesome movie, um, but apparently he also did Legend of the Guardians. Um, which definitely had some 3D slow motion, let's go fast type of stuff, but I didn't realize he did it. Still a cool movie. Um, and also, I saw on IMBD that he is doing the new uh, Superman movie, which looks pretty cool. Um, they have Henry Cavill as Superman, um, and he has been in... Um, he was in stuff like The Tudors and uh, Stardust. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen those movies, or the TV show and movies. Um, they're both pretty cool. But anyways, um, so that should be cool. But anyways, um, back to Sucker Punch. Kind of uh, just a quick synopsis. Um, sorry if I ruin anything. Um, if you don't want to watch this, it should take about 20 seconds. So if you want to skip ahead a bit, go for it. Um, First of all, there is um, this girl, and her mom dies, and um, and her stepfather rapes her sister, and he was going to rape her, but he doesn't, and then sends her to a mental hospital, and, a si and her sister ends up dead. And uh, so she goes to this mental hospital, um, there's some crazy scenes, looks like she's going to get lobotomized. Um, it, it sort of looks like then she doesn't. Turns out the place is actually a brothel um, where these girls dance. Um, she does this crazy dance routine. When she dances, she goes into these like vivid um, dreams about fighting things. And that's where you see the commercials or the, in the previews where she's fighting the samurais and the Germans and stuff like that. It's pretty sweet. And yeah, um, so spoiler alert here, um, I actually am going to ru ruin part of it, so sorry. Um, she does get lobotomized in the end, and uh, I kind of wanted to talk about this in psychology class, but this is Ransky, we watched this video on lobotomy, I have to say, it's one of the creepiest and cruelest things I think I have ever heard of. Um, and it, it, it's just, it's a crazy procedure. Um, if you guys don't know what it is, in essence, um, what the doctors do, what the doctors do is uh, they take an ice pick, is originally what it was, and they shove it underneath the eyelid into the frontal cortex here, and they have to break it through with a hammer, and uh, they wiggle it around a bit, pop it back out, do it in the other eye, wiggle it around a bit, and it cuts all the nerves right here, and um, basically removes all of your emotions and turns you into a vegetable. And it is not a pretty thing, which is the reason why um, it's not practice anymore. Which, again, a side note, um, that video that I mentioned in Ransky's class, one of the most painful uh, videos to watch because your eyes just hurt the whole time because it shows video of them just striking in that ice pick and wiggling it around and it is disgusting. Uh, but anyways, so I saw that yesterday and uh, I've actually seen quite a few movies. Um, Thor 7, which I just watched recently, which is uh, an older movie with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman, which I also love, um, brought up. It's, it's one of those kind of like religious undertone things um, where uh, uh, basically the quick 
summary of that is there's a killer and he kills people um, with the seven deadly sins. Um, he does one for each sin. And it, that's a pretty intense movie too. Um, but I, I know I've said this a few times and uh, this week is my AP test and after my AP Euro test I saw Thor. I wanted to see another movie and there were a few that I wanted to see so I'm going to ask you guys what you guys think. Um, I wanted to see Insidious, um, Dylan Dog, which just came out, which looked pretty cool. I'm really into supernatural stuff, as you can tell by those two choices. Um, Rio, or, um, um, and Hannah was the last one I was thinking of. All of those movies seem good, and I've heard great things about all of them. So guys, let me know which one you guys think I should see. Um, it's just purely to relax afterwards. Um, I know it's a great way for me to recuperate and I don't feel brain dead afterwards. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments. Also, uh, this week I have some DMLA stuff. Um, I have an interview for something with State. Um, I don't know if I can mention what it is. Um, and uh, what else do I have going? Like I said, Wednesday P test. I know I've said that so many times it's not even funny. Um, I think that's about it. Thursday is a meeting um, at Disney, and also, um, yeah, never mind. So yeah, hopefully uh, it's a pretty good week. It doesn't sound too busy to me, um, but it should be fun. And uh, again, look forward to uh, Friday. Uh, me and AJ are making fudge, um, so that should be cool. And then Sunday, I'm going to list my 10 favorite um, news stories of the week, which so far I haven't found any, but I haven't really been checking it, so we'll see. Um, also, I forget to mention, uh, me and that same friend AJ have been working out in the morning, um, doing bench press, other upper body workouts, and um, so yeah, so we're also doing that in the morning which is pretty cool.